the suburb of Upper Coomera on the Gold Coast is growing at a rapid pace. Not long ago, the area was relatively quiet and had large areas of undeveloped land. Native birds including cockatoos, kookaburras and rosellas were a common sight for residents. But since then, all has changed. Mass urbanisation has taken place, replacing vital habitats for local wildlife with vast housing estates. Once common birds are now rare, and to a casual observer, it seems as though all but a few species have completely disappeared. But what really is the state of bird life in Upper Coomera? How have these recent changes affected bird populations? Upper Coomera State College, a local school established in 2003, provides a fascinating insight into the way in which bird populations have changed in response to urbanisation. Trees and other plant life were replaced with concrete buildings, paths and stretches of bare grass fields, displacing many birds and other wildlife. That is not to say the school is entirely without birds, in fact they are a ubiquitous part of the school grounds. The Australian raven is a species that thrives in the school environment. Their distinctive calls can be heard throughout the school, often a source of annoyance for teachers and students. They are capable of consuming a wide variety of food and are readily observed scavenging among the copious amounts of litter that is carelessly discarded throughout the grounds. This ability is what allows the Australian raven to exist in such large numbers where many other species, reliant on natural food sources, cannot. Being a large and aggressive bird, they are also responsible for outcompeting other species for vital resources and driving smaller birds from the area. Other birds that are commonly found within the school grounds include Australian magpies and rock doves, an introduced species from Europe. Both, like ravens, consume food scraps and are well suited to living alongside humans in suburbia. Occasionally, in quieter areas of the school with trees and native flowering plants, a more diverse range of smaller birds can be observed. These include blue-faced honeyeaters, willy wagtails, and rainbow lorikeets. The plants used for landscaping around the school provide the necessary security from predators and a source of food for these small birds that is absent throughout the majority of the school. Upper Coomera State College serves as a clear illustration of the disastrous results of urbanisation, but also demonstrates how just a small amount of appropriate plant life can improve the situation. Within the recently developed residential estate Highland Reserve, a portion of land has been converted to an artificial lake and park. Such areas are vital for the promotion of bird diversity following the destruction of their natural habitat. The lake attracts water birds to the area, the primary species being the Australian wood duck. These ducks are often observed in the area, usually in and around the lake. They forage on land or in shallow water for the grasses, herbs and other insects that constitute their diet. Other birds take advantage of the lake and surrounds as well. In the lake there is a population of Pacific black ducks. These spend much of their time in the lake and are sometimes seen aggressively chasing one another. Other birds include this solitary little black cormorant. The willy wagtail a bird named for its characteristic tail wagging behaviour is another common sight. They are highly tolerant of humans and are common throughout Upper Coomera, often seen searching for insects on lawns. They are very active birds and will fearlessly defend their territories if threatened. The artificial lake and surrounding park in the Highland Reserve housing estate is important for the preservation of the area's bird diversity. While it cannot replace the original habitat for many bird populations, it does provide a welcome place of sanctuary amongst the houses. Residential areas make up a majority of the developed land in Upper Coomera. Their bird populations must face many new difficulties aside from simply the loss of habitat. They must cope with the added danger of roads, litter and introduced predators. Despite all of this, there are many bird species that are capable of living alongside humans within the residential areas that have rapidly replaced their natural habitats. Superb pharaoh wrens are often found in backyards with dense plant life. They live in small groups of one male with multiple females and juveniles. Adult males are easily recognised by their blue and black colouring, whereas the females and young are predominantly brown in colour. They are lively birds, moving quickly in search of the insects that live amongst 
the suburban bushes and lawns. Feeding on both insects and the nectar provided by flowering plants, the brown honeyeater is another small bird commonly found in gardens. Male honeyeaters are observed often singing from the tops of trees during breeding season in defence of their nesting territories. There are many other birds that are often seen in backyards throughout Upper Coomera. These include the colourful nectar-eating rainbow lorikeet and the silver eye, a small bird with distinctive silver eye markings. It is abundantly clear that the current state of bird life in Upper Coomera is not as dire as it initially appears. There are, however, still many things that can be done to improve the situation and prevent it from worsening as development continues. In schools, efforts must be increased to reduce litter to help control the raven population and thus allow large numbers of other species into the grounds. Residents should include in their gardens a variety of native plants and protect wildlife from their pets. The birds of Upper Coomera play various highly important roles within the local ecosystem and they must be protected in order to maintain a healthy environment. This is not impossible if individuals within the community choose simply to do what they can to help.